Generic greetings and welcome back to Fort once again in the previous episode we did the first two maps so North America and um, Africa and managed to get the majority of the extra stuff done there's only a couple we didn't do we can always go back and do that if we really need the points but otherwise we will progress onwards we now are in the uh, Middle East and we've got alternate facts uh, WMD and rough wipe to do so let's crack on we need to do alternate facts which is destroy enemy fort build a minigun from scratch and stop mortar from completing so the upgrade center belongs to us apparently said by that guy there and apparently has no pupils uh to steal it is to lay with the dogs but it disgrace apparently yes it's our upgrade center all that sort of thing morning 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 uh, that guy is going to build up and then put a mortar up there we have to stop that happening for one of our additional objectives we do have a minigun which is obviously going to do uh, anti-mortar stuff but won't be able to fire directly because of this thing here so we can uh, construct a bridge to connect up to that part and let's hope we can do it in time then we'll get an upgrade center and then we'll upgrade this to a minigun uh, we'll be able to select them both and upgrade them to a minigun so let's crack on we've also got wires as well which hold things up so we will expand and then expand and then once it's down here we will click like so and then there's that one job done and we're gonna quickly go and we're just gonna build as fast as possible this this one has already got, you can see, some uh, power to it. What I'm going to do is actually, uh, ooh, we're probably going to actually build up here, um, cancel that, build up one and then two, and then connect wires up to there, and then this one over to there. And what that should do is support this one a little bit better, like so, and then bosh, we've connected all these up. Excellent. So, we will be able to build a minigun from scratch, it says. That's what it's asking us to do. So, I'm guessing place one and then upgrade it, but we do need to upgrade that one and then upgrade that one. And I'm guessing we need to place this one and then uh, crack on there. Um, I guess place that one and then upgrade it is what it means by build a minigun from scratch. It doesn't really clarify exactly what it means, but we will upgrade that nonetheless. This upgrade center does allow us to upgrade things, as you can see, and we will get these things. And these are miniguns. These are much better. I will just give you a quick demonstration by dackering away, away at this top section. And it does loads of damage, and I will um, not fire again, because I want to wait for this to complete, because I'm going to select 1, 2, and then 3. You can actually create control groups. Control and 1, I've put that on, so you can press 1, uh, like a number, and then you get all three of them, and then uh, just watch happen what happens here. Yeah, it's not going to take long at all, is it? Because... Uh... <laughs> I'm just going to be able to cut through the center. For whatever reason, the computer, I'm guessing, is programmed not to uh, put an armored panel there. Because if it did, I wouldn't be able to hit that. And um, I would probably lose because I don't have access to mortars. But here we go. Keep going. Yeah, it's... Uh... Yeah, that was fairly decent. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and fairly easy to do. So build a minigun from scratch. Yes, that is done. Uh, stop the modern from completing. Again, done. Excellent. So over onto the next one. We have, uh, that was alternate facts. I don't know why it's called that. I'm guessing because they said they controlled the control the upgrade center and we didn't. I don't know. Either way, we've got a massive heli carrier fly, uh, flying about, by the way. It just looks like a really big drone. Uh, WMD. So destroy enemy fort, prevent enemy from firing shot, win by chain reaction. Okay, right, sign. Your intelligence has failed you. This oil derrick has, uh, is as barren as the land. Pay no attention to those barrels. They're all empty, apparently. All these ones here. Uh, keep the oil. We're here for the weapons of mass destruction. So, they've got three snipers there. We interrupt off the enemy. We'll be placing snipers. Ah, so they haven't placed it yet, but they will be placing it. So we need to take that out as soon as possible. We cannot hit this because it's armoured. And the only way to do it really is to use our sniper. Use our snipers to take out theirs. There's also an upgrade centre. Upgrade your snipers to get armor piercing and uh, hit their reactor. Okay, so what I'll do is I will start straight away by building along like so. One, two, and then ooh, three, and then it's probably going to break. No, it's not, but I will be able to connect that to there, and then hopefully connect that to the ground like so, which is going to prevent the fort from breaking, which is obviously something we don't want to do. I do want to then upgrade this sniper like so, because we do have an upgrade center. And then this sniper, I will fire up the top. And, ah, look at that. We can't actually uh, go over there. Uh, that was preventing enemy from firing a shot. And apparently they did actually fire a shot, which is a crying shame. I'm going to have to place another sniper in here then. It was very quickly. I didn't, I didn't surprise. I was surprised actually how fired, fast they fired there. I didn't expect them to build that quickly. So I guess I'm going to have to just aim for this other sniper and um, see if I can take him out. Yeah, there he is taken out. Okay. So, I will aim up a little bit, fire at that one, yeah, job done. Obviously, you do get this, like, line of sight aim thing, but you don't get a full arc, uh, whereas you did in the tutorial. This is now a piercing shot, which should be able to fire up and straight through this, and then chain reaction all the way around there. So, fire, 
Nope, just a little bit shy of where I need it. Fire. Close. It's it's almost killed it. You can see it's actually damaging this now. It will blow it up eventually, and once it's gone, we should be able to... Is it actually upgraded? No, that one's upgraded. I was going to say, was... <laughs> that one should be going straight through. I was wondering. All right, try this again. There you go, straight through, go straight through, and then there's your chain reaction. So I haven't prevented them from firing, but um, I've certainly prevented them from doing anything else, because uh, there goes their fort. So no additional objectives there. Oh no, win my chain reaction, I guess there's one, that's fine then. Like I say, we can go back and do the others if necessary, but I don't think it is uh, the way we're going. If you get an average of every one, other one, you should have enough to go to the next level. This is 13, so we only need to do this once now, but obviously I'm trying to bank up as many as I can. So rough wipe, destroy enemy fort, shoot miniguns through shut doors, and avoid damage to all armour. Uh, is that what it said? We in invented gunpowder, now we're inventing miniguns. Prepare to have your fort turned into chip wood. Then we'll make paper from the scraps from that toilet paper. Very good. Uh, good luck making toilet paper out of steel, the rough wipe. Now I get the joke. In fact, I even made some sort of reference like that last episode anyway. Pathetic as it was. So, the enemy have developed the minigun, more powerful but less versatile version of the machine gun. I know, because I've, I've, I've had them myself. Uh, <laughs> Our warehouse is blocking the minigun's line of sight, but it won't last long. Okay. Uh, what we need to do, once the warehouse is gone, the miniguns will rip through our wooden bracing reinforce the front of our fort with armour material, and then uh, once the fort is protected, build an upgrade centre. Yes, no problem. And then a sniper. Okay, we can do all of that. Once the upgrade centre is completed, build a sniper with armour piercing and then take out the enemy fort. Excellent tip. So, uh, slant armour deflects bullets, but takes no damage. Okay, fine. So what we'll do, make our country great again, Commander. I'm going to go over here, and I'm actually going to place armor. Oh, I can't place armor there, just because of where it is. That's a shame. What I'm going to do is place armor like so, because it's sloped. And hopefully, if it's sloped armor... Um, if it is sloped armor... Uh, which one do I want? Background bracing. No. Proper bracing. Um, if it is sloped armor, like that, it should ricochet around, which is good. We'll go to devices, upgrade center like so, and then weapons, sniper, which we'll be able to put in. Oh, we can't! Damn it! I'm going to have to get rid of that. I will delete that section and delete that section, which hopefully will get rid of this, well, this wall bit here. Oh! Right, that was not what I wanted to do. I obviously wanted uh, these bits instead. Hang on. Along, and then down, and then I should be able to build that actually with armor, and that should be okay. Very, very weak, as you can see, but it means I can place a sniper there. It's, I mean, it's hanging off the back edge, but not too much of a problem. There's the miniguns firing away, and obviously we're taking some damage because there's some flat sections of the armor, but um, it's not too bad. I wonder if the ricochets... Um, I wonder if the ricochets count as... Do they, do the ricochet multiple times? Yes, it does look like the ricochet multiple times. Because, um, right, so we need to upgrade this, don't we, the sniper? Oh, we're actually already... No, we're not already upgraded. But I uh, need to fire through the doors. Hang on, see if I can fire. Damn it, I missed, I missed. Fire again. Nah, missed. Right, so I'm going to wait until these open, then I'll be able to fire. Um, let's fire about there. Yes, there's one dead. So shoot mini miniguns through the doors is one of these additional objectives. I'm trying to get them both done. And once this is done, come on, open up. Open up. Come on. Nope. One more, and no, just shy, just shy. All right, close. Uh, I want to upgrade this, but if I upgrade it, I won't be able to fire it in the meantime, and that means this gun can fire with impunity, which now it can't because it's dead. Excellent. So the other one is built. It should, it might open up soon, but you know what? Upgrade. Now this is interesting because it says shoot miniguns through shut doors. Um. Yeah, all right then. So I've destroyed this minigun, and that's now a normal gun. So I guess I guess I can't get them both because it's through the shut doors. Uh, okay, there's the mach there's a standard machine gun which I'm not too worried about. We should be able to kill that with this next shot because it should go. This is armor piercing, so it should go straight through. Let's see what happens. So fire. Yeah, that goes straight through that door, no problem at all. The next one is not technically a minigun, so it might not give me the achievement. No, it did. It did. It, it wasn't even. It wasn't even a um, a mini gun. But uh, I still got the achievement. Strangely, but uh, I'm not going to argue. I'm just going to roll with it. Okay, fine. And apparently, I missed. I went through there, through the other side, but I didn't hit the barrel. A little bit lower then. 
There you go. And then there's your chain reaction. And um, kaboom -y. There it goes. Job done. I see the little fireworks and stuff pop out the top. Right, okay. It wasn't fireworks. It just it blew all up. So, avoid damage to armor. We didn't get done because I think it's fairly impossible <laughs> because of the way the angles are and stuff. It, I guess it's not impossible, it's just it's very, very difficult. You have to slant it and because of the way the, I think the multiple bounces, it might not be uh, very easy at all. Anyway, so miniguns, mortars, AP snipers, what else have you got? Uh, a wise man keeps his secrets close to his loaded gun apparently. So, we go to next and we will move over to, I believe, Europe now. Does it open up? Yes, it has. So, theater unlocked Europe. There we are. So, we've got one, two, three... Uh, areas so we've got burning down the house we've got a bridge too far and that sinking feeling so we're gonna go with burning down the house 21 required to get through so hang on um, 369 we can do it but uh, we have to get a lot of these ob extra objectives done so destroying enemy fort is the first objective don't get hit and then hit a mortar so don't get hit is gonna be quite a difficult one I promise with the fireworks uh, the f dragon Rains fire. Uh, I guess it would be. Uh, enemies reinforced is fought with wood. Uh, sorry, with armor. And there's a weak spot here if we can take that. With made by bracing. We have. Uh, we need to build a workshop up the top there, and then we'll build some mortars and then fire over the top. Use your machine guns to defend your fort, sent by other mortars. So I'm hoping that I can go to devices quickly. I'm, I'd say it's built up there, but I don't need to. I'll just build it down the bottom because it makes it it uh, makes it more problematic up top. I'm going to just um, place some. Uh, machine guns here like so and uh, let it uh, defend away now I'm not doing this manually you can see I'm placing these I'm just placing these down and I will let them fire automatically I don't want to click on them and fire away and stuff I'm just gonna let it do what it needs to do and it's absolutely hoying it down we're not on the England map but uh, it is raining somewhat the problem with these automatic ones is they do fire against things they don't need to fire at obviously we don't need to fire at anything else um, I've just realised we've got no... We don't have any materials, and we can't gather any more materials. We don't have the devices for it. So I'm guessing this is just a bit of a weird stock game where we're just set to what it gives us. Yeah, it fires at stuff even if it's never going to hit, which is a problem, but uh, with the amount of machine guns we've got, we should be okay. Uh, there's a mortar. We'll place a mortar like so. What I'm going to do is expand that to the left just a, just a tad, and then that'll allow us to ooh, unsettle the uh, the fort somewhat, that's for sure, but we'll be able to put that there. In fact, if we need to, we can do that, you see, and that'll then balance it back out. <laughs> If this game didn't have these like physical things in, it, it wouldn't be as good. I do like the uh, way it does um, not mess around, but the way things sway and where you have these um, like struts that are damaged and stuff. I, I do like that a lot. So we're going to click on that and we'll click on that. We will group that as group one. And I'll wait until they're both finished. And obviously we are trying to hit that section there. So I reckon we need a lot of power and a lot of forward. That's, 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 that's the description, yeah. A lot of forward we need. What I don't want to do, though, is fire through my own... <laughs> fire through my own machine gun burst because we won't get anything hit at all. There goes the shot out. It is well... Well too powerful. There's the shot. Well, well, well too powerful. Much too powerful. That's the words. Uh, a bit more power, I think, is required. So I'll wait until the other shots whiz out. That's a lot of... We're going for the full orc assault here. Just more DACA. There's both of my shots out. That's well over the odds, but it's going to hit the... It's going to hit the refinery, which actually isn't a target on this one. So we're close. Just just, just keep ranging it in. That's, again, way too much. I reckon the angle's okay. I reckon just the power's wrong. So we'll go for a 10% power drop. Doesn't help that the, the uh, fort is wavering around the place. No, it's going to be a bit more. You can see the, the fort is actually wobbling around, and that does affect your shots. So we're on a total of 84% power. Let's go for a 74% power, and that should be about right. It was close. I reckon a 70% power, and then we are on the money. And that's it. I think that should be it. No, we actually took all of our shots out, which is interesting. <laughs> We took all of our own shots out there. 
There's hours going out, and that should be it. Yep. There it goes. Boom. Destroying enemy fort, yes. Don't get hit, yes. And hit a mortar. Didn't get it done. Um, yeah, it would have been easy actually to do that one, but yeah, move on. So, we're on a total of 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we need all three from one of these. So this is destroy enemy fort, don't attach to floating islands, and snipe all machine guns. Okay. So, we need to defeat them. There are three machine guns to defend this fort. Yes, they do. Uh, we have one heavy mortar, not for, not enough for the mission. But we also got a couple of warhead silos, but we need a sniper team to fire them. So we need to expand the bridge to the next outcroppings and keep moving along. And then get to that, and then we'll be able to fire that. We've got these floating islands with tether rope, with like these tethers on it. If I... If I manage to uh, do this without without the connections, then we get an advantage. Okay, so we'll see what we can do. That didn't go as planned. That and that, that and then that. Um, this one is going to be... We'll have to manually build these ones, actually, because of the angles that it's uh, going at. Um, it says, don't, don't attach to floating islands. It says nothing about attaching to itself. Okay, so we can attach from, say, that point there to that point there, that point there to that point there, and that should give us a lot more to build like so. It's, oh, it's, 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 it's making noise, and no. Hang on, that was not correct. Um, well, uh, Right, that was not how I envisaged that building, but um, it's built. Let's continue going. Uh, so that over to there. This one will have to go up. One, two, three. Again, we want tethers going from ideally that point there, although there is a maximum like point where you can click onto. Ooh, it's there. And then build up. And then I reckon we can get away with one more. One more, like so. And then... Wait until it goes up, because obviously it's rocking back and forward. If you build um, another way, it uh, has some issues. Ooh, that's straining. That is straining ever so bad. Ever so badly. Let's see if we can fix that somewhat by putting in a bit more bracing there. That will hopefully give it a bit more structural reinforcement. And, ooh, I don't like that. It's rocking so bad. It's making all kinds of horrible noises. It's creaking. It's making some horrible creaking noises. Right, okay. Uh, that's background bracing. I don't know if background bracing is lighter or not, but uh, let's go to there and then there, and that should be it. Um, cancel that one. And there we go. So, don't touch the floating islands, and it says, snipe all machine guns. So... I can technically fire. Can I upgrade it though? Material, no. And do we have upgrades? I don't think we do. So, uh, is that an armor piercing one? It's not an armor piercing one. So what I'm going to do is open this fort up and fire ones. Right, I fired. Well, I'm firing. I'm going to see what it does. I'm trying to poke the bear somewhat by damaging their fort. You can see I am hitting it. I am doing a little bit of damage. I can't believe that I've done that. Oh, hang on! Oh, oh. The, the the noise of a door I thought was opening was uh, not that. But anyway, we do have <laughs> this done. Um, how do we snipe all the machine guns then? Because they have not yet opened up. And I've now got this thing. So how on earth do we progress? Build bridges to sniper. Done. Use sniper to aim warhead enemy fort. So, how do we fire? No. Do we... Ah, right. Right. So you need to do this. Okay, uh, let's aim warhead there then. So that's going to be a missile, is it? Yep, there's the warhead. Um... 
Missile away, I guess. Ah, right. And now, as you can see, all of the doors open up, which means I can now snipe them. If I was a decent shot, you understand, but I'm not a decent shot. So we'll do it again. So we'll fire there. And then we'll go back to the sniper, and we'll just get out of, get our range in. So open the door, fire bottom, uh, a bit further up, uh, there I think. Yes, there's one dead. So we've got one machine gun down. Okay, so this is how we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to just keep firing the warheads like so. And what that'll do is open up the door. And I was to get our range in. There's another one. I wasn't even aiming for that one, but I'll take the shot. Ah, close, so close, so close, so close. Ah! Oh! So close, but so far. Okay, so I just need to fire that again. This one might actually make it as well, you know. No, it's not. Close. There we go. So, snipe all of them. Yep, done. Don't attach to floating islands. Fire at that, and this should be a win. Surely it'll be a win now, because we've got a warhead coming in. So there goes the warhead. Up and over. Warhead's away, and... Bye, mate! Ooh! That did a bit of damage, didn't it? I think we'll try that again. Um, and there. And we'll see what happens. Shots away! <laughs> I do like that. It's just, why is it so erratic? Why is it so erratic? <laughs> oh, there we go, and it's gone. It took long enough, but we did manage to get there. So, destroy an enemy fort, yes. Don't attach the floating islands, yes. And snipe all machine guns, job done. Right, so. Next. Um, we need to get... We need 21. So we need two of these here, so the first one is destroy the enemy fort, quite easy, one would assume. Or rather, you can't not do that. The next one is win with spotless reactor, and the other one is win without heavy mortar. Okay, right. So this is trench warfare, mine's a trench, yours is a grave apparently, oh very good. We're almost firing left for right as well, which is strange. So the dragon army on right now, a doorstep, yes. And we're on the left here. Protect our reactor with machine guns, yes, which we're going to do. And then connect the workshop to build then incendiary mortars. Uh, and then build up to build heavy mortars. Okay, fine, right. So we need to do... Well, we need to connect this up straight away. So it should be quite an easy task just to do um, that and then that. Job done. So we are connected straight away. And then we can go to a machine gun. And what I want to do is actually build up like so and then along. The reason for that is I want to then go over to weapons and to machine gun and place a machine gun there and then a machine gun at the back there. Because I want to protect my reactor because that is one of the objectives. And the rest is then mortars, which I can place hopefully across there. But at the moment, as you can see, we've got a little bit of a strain issue and we will hopefully be able to resolve it like so just by putting some extra bracing in. This one's not too bad. This one, we have got some bracing issues. That there should be enough, one would hope, to protect any mortar shells coming in. We are going to go to mortar ourselves and go to... Well, we're not going to mortar ourselves, but we're going to place some mortars. One there, and then probably one there. It's strange you can't build it closer. I don't know why. Um... I think it's just the way it is. I'll go to materials and actually build like so. Because I want to place them roughly on the same plane. Um, which won't let me... Oh, no, it will. There we go. So one, two, and then three. And we'll select them as... Well, put them as group one. So win with spot release reactor and win without heavy mortar. So let's see if we can do this. So it should be one, two, and then three built. What I'll do is I'll just uh, get a cheeky range in and... Oh, we can't. We have to wait until they're all built because they're in groups. Yeah, actually, you know, we'll, we'll fire a cheeky couple of shots out. And they're looking actually quite good, aren't they? Ooh, one of them was. One of them did actually hit dead on target. That's exactly what we want to see. Right, so I reckon a little bit more power. There we go. And this should be in now. Whether or not the uh, machine guns will be able to take us out is a different story. No, it looks like they weren't. And, oh, oh, that one's wrong. <laughs> Because that one is never fired, its original angle was up there, so um, that's bad. Let's fire the up and over. It's actually better to probably fire them in salvos, because if we don't fire them in salvos, it means that we're going to have a lot of issues when it comes to um, hitting the right target, because you get... Well, that was very close to our own section there. Because uh, when they fire a burst of machine gun fire, you can see that happens. 
Oh, look at that. The rope actually sets on fire. I've never seen that before. That's cool. Right, there's the mortar shots. Why is that one going well wide? Look at that. That's very strange. But um, I wonder if it's like... I wonder if that there, that rope burning into that, I wonder if it's like an Acme fuse and the whole thing goes up. I don't know. Strangely, that fire is okay, but when I fire with the E button, which is... Um, that is fire at your previous target. There's their shots coming in, which we managed to take out. So first shot, um, you actually have to right-click. And then right-click. And then right click and you see it fires it in um, different sections so it means their gun should have been over it should be overheating which it is one two and then three it's firing in the right order you see enough so that their ah that was a bit too fast their first volley isn't still in the air but they're already of they're already used up by the time the third one comes in, which that one wasn't the case, but close enough. So one, two, and then three. Obviously, if they miss, then it's just a bonus anyway. Ah, well, it looks like they did manage to uh, get one of them. So there's the first one being hit. Second one lands. Third one lands as well. They're taking a lot of damage here, which is good. Like I said, I'm trying to get the extra mission one without heavy mortars, because I think I just think it's possible. Um, although, that wasn't great. First shot, second shot, third shot. I believe I did actually hit... Yes, I've hit their machine gun. Right. Uh, we need to angle this a bit more now, because we are... We're hitting the bridge, and I don't want to do that. I want to hit their reactor, which is... Pretty much dead on with what I'm hitting there. Excellent. Keep firing away. One. Two. And three. Yes. Good. Ah, I just hit on the top. Fire. Fire. And fire. Yeah, look at that. That's wrong. That's a bug. That has to be a bug. Well, it doesn't have to be, but it feels like a bug. Because when I'm using right click to fire these separately, I'm actually aiming. Um, if I left click, it'll fire them all together. However, if I fire them with the um, E button when you double press E, it volley fires them, but in the wrong way. Oh, did you see that? I don't know if you did, but that shot was right in between the bracing, so it went straight into where it needed to. Excellent. And there's a victory. So. We've absolutely hammered him. Next should be, I believe... Yeah, there's 22. So we got all but one achievement in Europe. There's the next theater unlocked, the Mother Lord. And it is here, which I believe is just like a video type thing. Locate and secure the Mother Lord. I might be a mission. Either way, we will leave it there. Next episode, do the Mother Lord, then move on to these two here. Actually quite enjoying this somewhat. Well, I knew I was going to do anyway, because I've been... I've got about three hours played just on the single player like messing around on the skirmishes and the campaign and stuff so yeah but going back through it is actually quite interesting doing the challenges as well anyway as always hope you enjoy the video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings